Hey y'all. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. This video is going to be very different yes. from everything else that you've seen on our channel. It is a little bit long, but it's got a lot of stuff. If you saw our winging it Wednesday, you know we covered coming uh, to the school and we got we're getting a lot more out of this experience than what we thought. So we wanted to give you more details on uh, our experience, how this week's gone. Um, we, we interviewed another student. You're going to love Janet. She's, she's awesome. A couple of our instructors. A couple of our instructors and, and, um, and the ones who actually made all this happen. You know, so there's a lot in this video, but there's, there's a lot of good stuff and a lot of good stories. And people asked to see a little bit of the RV park, so we're going to have a little bit of that footage as well. So stick with us, and we are going to tell you about our first experience with the National RV Training Academy. Well, hey, y'all. I'm here with Richard, and he is been our instructor all week long and he's the one that's just been blowing our head all week but man we have learned so much from him i'm gonna let richard introduce himself to you so he can tell you the organizations and stuff that he's with so yeah i'm richard stark um one of the instructors here at the uh, national rv training academy nrvta and i also instruct for the national uh, rv inspectors association nrvia um, I've got a, a pretty extensive background with electrical and I spent, oh, I don't know, 40 years in the residential appliance industry. I have been RVing myself for about 25 years and wow. have learned a lot on the road and, and um, um, so I had this opportunity whenever um, Mr. Cooper was starting to build this organization here in the um, big red barn. In the big red schoolhouse. <laughs> yeah. It just so happened Joanne and I had just purchased our rig and we wanted to go talk to a grand design representative at the Austin RV show. <laughs> and so we went there. I was kind of looking for another avenue of income. And I happened to see Cooper and Lady E uh, at their booth. That's, know, exact promoting. That's exactly where Stacy and I met them as well. There you go. <laughs> So I, I've been in that same position. Yeah. So I saw their banners in, and I asked Cooper, okay, so what's the deal here? You know, what's in RVIA and how mm -hmm. can I become a, a uh, RV inspector? So Cooper started asking about my, uh, my background, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself. So I started talking to him and he said, you know, Richard, I think I got something better planned for you. And I says, well, but you know, maybe I want to become an inspector. And he says, nah, nah, I got something better. <laughs> so uh, we got to talking um, and we ended up walking outside and he's still wanting to talk to me and, and get a little bit more about my background. So he told me about the program he was building here and offered to let me come and take week one, which is what you guys are taking now. Right. And um, to see what I thought about the organization. And um, he had told me then that he, he was hoping, you know, that he was looking for instructors. Um, I've been an instructor, I've been an instructor in, the, in the technical world, in the residential appliance world for a long time, 30 something years. So I've got a lot of training under my belt. Um, and, these, and all this training has been primarily with technicians, uh, residential appliance technicians. And, um, so anyway, I came over here and that's kind of what started this ball rolling. Yeah, and what's crazy is Richard has done a great job of, I mean, like for Stacy and I, like dumbing it down. I mean, because so many, and when I say that, it's because so many people come in here, like Stacy and I, that have no knowledge whatsoever. I mean, we literally, at the first day of class, he's teaching us the basics of electricity. Isn't that right? Yeah. I mean... And yeah, we got to start somewhere. Yeah, and and we we start from almost zero. And the people in that class, they're coming from everywhere, every they're, walks of life. Yeah, and they're all different in different levels of RVing, different different ideas of what they're going to do with this. 
too. And that's what I think is really cool. I mean, because uh, I see a lot of people that are in this class that they're just here to really learn how to work on their own rig. That's all yeah, they really care about. A lot of people about. do. You know, it, it's, we, we all know as RVers, you know, it's expensive to try to get something repaired. And it's so inconvenient and so difficult if we have to, if we're full timers and we have to take our rig to a dealership. That's our house. That's now, right. Where are we gonna live? So a simple problem, a very simple problem that would take a qualified technician five minutes to fix, you might have your rig in a dealership for two weeks to yeah. fix this little bitty five minute problem. Now if that same person with a little bit of knowledge can be trained to fix their own rig, the same problem that only took five minutes to fix, you can fix it yourself. And, yeah. that's, and that's what we concentrate on here. You know, we want to help people learn how to fix their own rigs and to make the, you know, the RV lifestyle more enjoyable because even most mobile RV techs out there are not technically trained they're not formally trained well, in any way. Well, dealer techs They're as well. OJT. You know? Yeah, dealer techs don't necessarily have formal training, right? That's exactly right? right. That's exactly right. So that's the whole purpose of what we're trying to do here is educate people, not only just uh, full-timers that are wanting to learn how to work on their own rigs, but uh, technicians, people that have a good background and want to become mobile RV techs. Uh, we have all our advanced classes for that and then people that want to become um, RV inspectors. You know, we, we, ha we all have to start somewhere. Right. So that's the whole purpose of week one. We gotta start somewhere. So we start at the basics and we just keep climbing from there. And I can say we're end of Thursday now. We have one yeah. day left in this class. And I can, I can guarantee you that Stacy and I both know so much more right now. I mean, I'm gonna after we get done with this interview, I'm getting on top of my rig and checking my air conditioner because I think we figured out the problem which Stacey and I just had on our air conditioner. And I know I feel very confident that I can fix it myself. I bet you can. Yeah, I bet I can too. And that's that's awesome. I mean, this is where we we decided on this rig that we bought when we went full time, we did not buy an extended warranty. Mm -hmm. And because most of the time with our extended warranty before, sometimes things weren't covered. We never knew what was covered anyway, and then we'd be without our rig for two or three weeks. So we decided this time, you know what? Most of the things we're gonna to try to fix ourselves. There you go. And that's what this week is all about. Give you some basics, and you get out there and you start working with your own rig. You know, we all have good common sense, you know? All we need is just a path. Right. If you've got that basic knowledge, you can go so far you know, with even teaching yourself after that. So, yeah. you know, yeah, that's that's what week one is doing. And I I think so. I mean, I'm feeling every bit of that. And and so we, I mean, we can't thank Richard enough and Cooper and, I mean, because this facility is phenomenal. And thanks for putting up with us. He's oh, got man. a great personality too. <laughs> We're not making this one funny, but I can guarantee you, he's got some RV stories that are awesome. You know, it's worth coming for just to hear the stories. I, it, it is. It's <laughs> worth coming for just to hear his stories and let you all know, too, that, believe me, it's normal to have issues out there. We all are going to have do. issues. I mean, and we're all going to make stupid mistakes, but it's recovering from those is what counts. <laughs> I, I am the first to admit, you know, no matter how long I've been RVing or no matter how much knowledge and experience I have as a technician, I am still human. Yeah, that's right. I'm still human. And, and I have had experiences, you know, that <clears throat> that I share with people because, you know, I'm no better than anybody else. <laughs> right. I experienced the same thing out there full-timing that everybody else experiences. And I'm, you know, and, and I do some stupid things myself, you know. I have those moments, you know, that I just have to slap myself in the head and... <laughs> And step back and say, what? Are you kidding? So, I mean, no. half of the price of the course is just worth hearing Richard's <laughs> stories. <laughs> they are great. Well, Richard, thank you very thank you. much. And thank we're going to stay in touch for sure. It's an honor. It's yeah. an honor. Being a part of this organization is, is so fulfilling to me. Watching people come from no knowledge 
up to this level, yeah, that's my reward. That's my pay for being a part of this organization. This this is where this is where my my heart goes. And I you know, it and shows. I, I appreciate that. It absolutely shows. Thanks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so this is our friend Janet, hey. who we have been in class with now for a week, a little a over week. a week, mm -hmm. and uh, I thought we would get her perspective of the class, so you're not just listening to us. So, Janet, what brought you to this class? Are you from this area, or? Actually, I originated out of Florida, and we are in Athens, Texas, uh, at the National Travel, National RV Training, Training Academy. Academy. Yep. And uh, what brought me here was um, I had a job in HR for nine years, a sit down desk job. I was a little unchallenged and I wanted something more to do. And so I started working on my house to get it prepared to sell. And I realized I was handier than I thought I was. And I actually really enjoyed it. And uh, so in order to save money is <laughs> uh, what prompted me to try to do these things myself. So as I was doing them, I felt really accomplished. And uh, so when I left my job and I went full-time RVing, um, I, I thought, well, what do I want to do in this stage of my life? Am I going to go back to a traditional job? Do I want to do something totally different? And I have a passion for the RV industry and RV world, uh, everything RV. Mm -hmm. And I want to, and now I'm living in my, in my rig full-time. and. I just love it. And so I wanted to learn how to take care of my RV so that I could uh, not end up in a dealership and, and it's a place that I'm living in. So I can't give up my home if it's gonna be there more than one or two or days or a week. Uh, so I thought, well, let me just do this myself. So I started working and tinkering and, and I, again, I felt the sense of accomplishment having been able to be su successful in uh, finishing these tasks and preparing and maintaining it and changing the oil and all, and I just uh, felt really good. So what I, it brought me to this point where when I came and I saw online uh, advertising with school uh, and they had a grand opening uh, uh, luncheon. And I wasn't very far from the area, so I thought, well, let me go and go to this luncheon and get more information. If I like it, maybe I'll think about taking a class so I can learn how to maintain my rig. But it, it ended up being a lot bigger than that. So then they have opportunities to become an RV inspector, they have opportunities to be an RV technician, and they also have opportunities if you just want to maintain your rig and not do that in a professional capacity. So I caught fire and I'm like, I want this, I'm gonna do the whole thing. So whatever you got, I'm going for it. I'm all in. So uh, <laughs> I signed up for everything they had. I showed up a week ahead of time and I got on the video uh, classes so you can learn the information before you actually hit the door of the classroom so I could be prepared. And I never have uh, been exposed to a lot of this information about electricity and about uh, uh, propane and um, furnaces and water heaters. And so it was all brand new. And really the way they train here is so uh, wonderful because they, they hit every audience, whether it's the professional coming in for CEU courses mm -hmm. uh, or recertification, or if it's just the layman wanting to come in and get some info. It, they help to uh, give that information to everybody mm -hmm. uh, where we can all understand. Yeah. And so uh, now i am got my first week under my belt and I'm gonna go and drill down un into each uh, more detailed, uh, the refrigeration and hydraulics and, and all of these. So um, I'll get to a level two point, a level two uh, certified technician. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna go on and do the uh, inspector piece. And so that way I'll have a little uh, kit that I can run out into my RV life and I can decide if I want to work or not work, how much, how little, and there's a need in this country for more RV technicians. So there's so much opportunity for uh, work oh, that yeah. there's not enough people to do the job. So I don't think I'll ever go hungry. No, I think that's and, right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it just, I just feel like I'm a, I got out of a canoe that was stagnant in this little 
uh, side of the river and I finally got back into the main stream where I'm flowing in the current and I feel alive and passionate and happy and uh, just met so many wonderful people. And so it's been great. And that's the other piece of it, isn't it? I mean, mm -hmm. all the people we met this week, I mean, that's just unbelievable. Relationships that I think can last a lifetime. I think a lot so. Of them. I think so. Mm -hmm. So, well, awesome. Well, is there anything else that you want to share with everybody? I mean, that well, was... I, I think one thing, she, she lives in the RV by herself. Oh, yeah. I do. Me and my cat, actually. Yes. <laughs> I bought a Class C RV on purpose. It's the kind that has the cab over the top of the, the, the chassis where you drive. And uh, that's her bedroom. There so you, you go, come that's in perfect. the door, you go up, she goes up her little uh, cat scratcher walkway, and that whole area up there is hers. I can close it off, cat box is up there, out of the way. <laughs> it's a great, uh, a great setup. And now, when you're traveling, no matter what goes on, you're going to know how to handle it. So how about that? Yes. Yes. That's and knowledge is power, guys. There you go. Yeah. So awesome. <laughs> so hey, you know, if you're out there and you run into Janet, <laughs> you can pick her brain and if you need a little work done or whatever, maybe, uh, maybe she'll be able to help you out. One last thing, too, is that it's an opportunity to give back to the community. Absolutely. It's not only about making money and having a living, but it's about helping others For and sure. being a part of something bigger. Absolutely. Well, thank yeah. you. Oh, you're welcome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, so now we have the great pleasure of sitting here and visiting with Terry Cooper, AKA the Texas RV professor <laughs> and his lovely wife, Eveda, Lady E. Cooper. And they are the owners and ringleaders of this wonderful facility. So we thought we would give them an opportunity to talk a little bit more about it, how y'all came about with this, kind of how we ended up here. Well, it really all started while we were traveling on the road. We'd been on the road, what was it, five years? Mm -hmm. And what we would do is we would go from an RV park to RV park, and we would make reservations and say, okay, we need 25 sites for people to bring the RVs. We need a clubhouse or some sort of meeting room. And everything worked okay. Then we run into some situations to where a lot of these real estate investment companies were beginning to buy these real estate pieces of property called RV parks. Yeah. And they would come in and they changed the whole parameters. So many of these RV parks went from daily and weekly rentals to now where they were looking for someone to be there monthly. Yeah. So we would, we would maybe leave a site and say, okay, we'll see you next year, here's our deposit, and here's our dates, we're gonna be back. Well, we'd come back the next year, new manager, whole new program, and then we'd find out, well, we couldn't have access to the rooms like we needed to, and they couldn't have enough sites. So it really got to be a real troublesome thing. Uh, we had one event up in Oregon to where we actually had class outside in sleeting snow. Wow. Because that's all that was available. And let me tell you, that was not one of the better classes. And so it's like, wow, we got to do something. So we began to start looking for a piece of property. And we came across this property here, which is outside of downtown Dallas. We're exactly 72 miles southeast of downtown Dallas in a little yeah. community called Athens. So it's, it's kind of the intersection between I-45, Interstate 20. So the standing joke we have now is all roads lead to Athens, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So that's how we got started. Now, we, when we bought the park, it had a clubhouse. What we didn't realize was is the previous owners had booked a lot of rallies. So here we were again, now scrambling for space. You know, it got kind of testy there for a while because we had sometimes we had some rallies we were having to hold them in the clubhouse, sometimes we had to hold them in the office. So it was kind of touch and go. So what we did is we brought in some of those portable buildings. We had, you mean like the portable buildings you see at a school where they mm -hmm. can not grow the facilities. So that's what we did. We contracted the company, they brought some in, and that's what we did for probably the first eight or nine months is had class in those portable buildings. But we needed more space. And so the day after Mother's Day of 2018, we started pouring the concrete. Wow. And it's taken us a full year to get this thing dressed, ready to go. 
and now we've got full-time classes, got three service bays so we can bring RVs in. So regardless of the weather, we don't have to be out there in pelting snow and rain. And it's an incredible facility, y'all. I mean, it has got plenty of space here. Well, we say it now, you may expand so much <laughs> that in a couple years, you're gonna be saying, we need more space. Well, the standard joke now is the classrooms aren't big enough. <laughs> How can that be? You know, these classrooms are 30 by 30. We had plans, for, we'll never outgrow these, right? <laughs> well, yes, I do. wouldn't. Um, that's what I'm saying. You just can't tell, but it, it's un. It's very. It's an awesome facility. I and, mean, when you say it, and the bays are air conditioned also. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, in the summer. So this, I mean, the, the facility is top notch. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And also, just some of you people may be looking at Terry saying, "I've seen that guy before." Well, he does seminar, he's done seminars and stuff at RV shows all around the country. So you probably have seen him before. And you've probably seen Aveda because she also does seminars mm -hmm. at a lot of the shows. RV Kitchen. There you go. So if you want to know about your RV Kitchen, this is the lady right here. Yeah, so I mean, there, there are two that have been in the RV community for a long time and been in front of a lot of y'all and you just didn't even know who they really were. but. But they have they're really put together this school and talk a little bit about what is the school doing right now? I mean, what is the your classes? What type of classes can people take and that kind of stuff? We put together a five week program. Uh, week one is what we call RV Basics. Now that class will have a lot of different kind of individuals in there. Number one will be the RV owner just wanting to know more about the rig because we're going it is full you guys know that's the class that Stacy and I took last week yes yeah and we know I, I gotta tell you Stacy and I came in not now well we we know about our RV but we had no idea about volts and amps and all the and technical all the technical things. stuff but the stuff that you need to know when things go wrong yeah. which things are going to happen and and we were just in tune to take it to a dealer and get it worked on but you really can't do that when you're full timing and and also logistics are hard logistics are hard and even if you aren't full timing when you take your rig to a dealer you don't know how long they're going to have it i mean they may have it two or three months and what the longer they have it you can't use it That's you know exactly and, right and and a lot of a lot of this stuff you can fix yourself. It's not really mm -hmm. rocket science. Mm -hmm. We have that old saying, 80% of the things you can fix yourself, somebody just show you how. Because they're easy to access, easy to fix. And so many times it's just knowing where to go, what to look for. And if you know that, you've saved yourself a lot of grief. And that's, ba that's class one, basically. Well, and, and besides the owners, mm -hmm. we're going to have individuals in there that want to be RV inspectors because that is level one, is the technical part of learning how to do an inspection. Uh, there is more training for inspection, but it happens another time, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, all right, the other individual in there is the person that is out there in that service department that needs more education. Mm -hmm. So those dealers are sending those people over to get more education, okay? Or somebody maybe wants to become a mobile technician. Exactly, Ab absolutely. we're seeing a lot of that. A lot of folks are saying, I am so tired of my job. Or maybe they got downsized. We've seen a lot of that. This mm -hmm. last week, you guys had several people in your class that had been downsized. Right. And so they were, they're scrambling. And I mean, they've got a lot of racehorse left in them. They've got a lot of stuff that they can still do. But where do I go? What do I do? I want to live this experience. And so this is a perfect thing for them to kind of get this knowledge where they can stay on the road. And yeah. Do and I, we, we've met a bunch of them. And one of them is in this video, too. Mm -hmm. uh, Janet, it and awesome. she's in this video we interviewed janet and you saw her story and man she wants to become an rv technician i think that's awesome isn't yeah. that awesome yeah i love it when we have females coming in not just for the fact well i mean i'm a female and i, I love it when they come in here and, and they're eager to learn and they know they can get out there and be just as successful as the guy mm -hmm. she's not intimidated okay. at all and it's so cool all right so that's week one Mm -hmm. Coming up behind that week, two through five, is targeted training for specific things. Number one is air conditioning and heat pumps. We'll have a four-day class instead of five, but those days are longer. So Monday through Thursday. Behind that is refrigerators, RV refrigerators, 
After that is water heaters and furnace, okay? On the last week, the fifth week, is exterior. That includes your hydraulics. Everything from the roof, though, all the way to the bottom, front and back, all about the exterior. So we have a complete program that you can come and take a part in. But here's a couple of things I want to add into that I think is really exciting. Because behind week one and behind week five is a weekend prep study for that individual to go ahead and get their registered with RVIA and their real, the, the big certification with RVIA after class five. So when you leave our property, you leave our facility, you have everything you need to go out there and start your mobile tech business or work at a service department, whatever you're wanting to do. Yeah, I think Isn't that, that, that is exciting. That is exciting. And, and believe it or not, this Stacy and I are taking the study course right now to try to get that first certification or mm -hmm. whatever. Registered. I, I never would have thought we would do this, but <laughs> you know, I just won't tell you if I don't pass the test. <laughs> you will. Yeah. Do you know what? You're going to do great. Yeah, the <laughs> test is tomorrow, and I mean, yeah. It, I, I, no, I feel good about it. We, we just went through a great, ex I mean, the course, we have, it's not a course today, but it's kind of like a, a study session. Yes. Mm -hmm. was phenomenal. I mean, it was phenomenal. And I want to encourage, you know, RV dealers out there that are watching this video, send your text to this place. Right. I mean, get the training. I mean, this is phenomenal. I mean, this isn't rinky dink training they, this is serious stuff and i guarantee you, your your technicians are going to come back and they're going to know a heck of a lot more they will. the whole purpose of laying it out the way we did is in, in one week blocks is that that way it works with people's schedule because many working adults they can't always slip away and give us five weeks but if they can give us that first week and then they go back to work and then they come back and give us the second week and back and forth to eventually they can get them all mm -hmm. now we have some people that go just straight from week one all the way through week five but we have a lot of people that come and go and because based upon their work schedule so they can do it a little a little bit at a time mm -hmm. yes. piece exactly. by piece yes exactly. and and the good thing is you have a place to stay oh that and that's the other thing of it yeah, yes the rv park is wonderful and you have a place to stay in your own rv it's you can walk to the schoolhouse every day yeah some um, folks it's texan rv park here in athens mm -hmm. beautiful park very well maintained. Great job, guys. I know when you guys bought it, now you guys did a lot of work to, oh. to update the park. And well, we did. You know, there's always things to be done. Mm -hmm. But there was more septic that needed to be put in, updated electrical, you know, the whole thing. Uh, we actually added more sites. We're up to 89 sites now. Um, but I also want to make a point of saying we have cabins available. So mm -hmm. if you don't okay. have an RV or are so wet, far away that you can't get your RV here, fly in. Stay in one of our cabins. But we also have just purchased six new RVs that we're doing RV rentals. So those are here as well. Yeah, because one of the girls in our class yes. this week, she did that. She mm -hmm. flew in she from Indiana. Right. And she took the class with all of us, and she was in one of your mm -hmm. Yeah. She said RV. she'd never stayed in an RV, and that was part of her experience. Yeah. Now, one of the other things that we found out when we got here, and we didn't know this when we bought the RV park, but there was fiber optics right out here by the gate. So we have high-speed fiber. Yes. We're, I mean, so you can't find that in many RV no. parks. Because we've stayed in places where we just think, all uh, we did was watch the swirl, you know? Uh, <laughs> ever, anybody who's an RVer has experienced that, Absolutely. because that is the norm, right? Right. Um, but we are, we are classifying ourselves as, as the first smart park. So we have, the, we have the real deal. When you come in here, you're going to be able to maintain a business if you have it online. But certainly while you're here doing the classes and you have to access the Internet, it, you've got it. You know, and it's funny because there was someone who came in that, you know, said, oh, I have this little issue. Is there a tech here that, that can help me? And, and the joke is, well, which rig do you want? You know? <laughs> There's a lot of techs around here. Because yes. people also come back, once they have the training here to be an inspector or a technician, they come back to you guys for continuing education. That's right. Yes. That's right. We are uh, very fortunate. Um, but we, we have placed our classes to where we have five-week sessions and then we have two weeks off. And during our two weeks off time, we have manufacturers who actually come to this facility and put on their training. These are companies that actually do already 
across the country training. They just allowed us to be a part of that. Example, here in uh, um, June, we're gonna have a three-day lipid training. Now, it's already sold out, so sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, but get on the waiting list for the next but one. But <laughs> the wonderful thing is, we're more and more Aqua Hot, Norcold, you name it, all the different manufacturers out there that do that training across the United States, they're gonna be stopping in Texas now and doing it here. That's great. Yeah. You know, because if you have those relationships, when they upgrade their equipment, they send us some of that equipment and say, hey, we need to make sure you teach these guys because we need them to leave your school and go straight to that dealership or go into their mobile service and they know exactly what today's technology is. Yeah. We saw some major changes with some of the refrigerators. They went to some of the digital controls. Sure is nice to be able to roll in and start training stuff that is just now showing up at some of the dealerships. And and I can tell you, Stacey and I said, we've seen a lot of, of we met a lot of people here in class number one. And yeah, for some people, this class, it's not, I wouldn't call it inexpensive, right. but I don't know one person that was in our class that didn't think it wasn't worth every penny. And that is the absolute truth. Uh, everybody, in fact, Stacy and I, we went on to do this next test and we're also going, I'm taking the second class. Yeah, we rearranged our schedule. We rearranged next our week. schedule. We canceled Whoa. our next week so deal. You're going, the, you're going to be doing the advanced inspector. The advanced right. inspector wow. class. Okay. Yes, and so we are, I mean, we had no idea we were going to do this, but again, our plans being full time RVers are in pencil. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we want to change, we just make a change. Y'all yes. know how that is. Oh, yeah. See, a lot of times people don't understand that there, there is. And there is a group of people to do inspections. So those of us that have been involved in real estate, we know what a home inspection is. Yeah. Well, this is a home inspection for RVs. And the crazy thing about it, and a lot of this we didn't know until we got into it, is that 60% of the units, the used units that are sold, are bought and sold from one individual to another, and it never goes through a dealership. So people are buying units just based upon somebody's promise. Oh, I promise it's in good shape. Right. And you get what you get. But if you have an inspector come and look at it, you know, they're creating a report, might be 75 to 100 pages long with photos. And so when you get that report, you know what you have. Yeah, Whether it's, it's really a motor home where they pull fluid samples or they're doing the inspection, and they're gonna tell you some things about that in that report that's gonna tell you about that vehicle. And, and you have to make that decision to buy or sell. Because the inspector doesn't make that judgment. They say, right. these are the facts, this is what's going on, mm -hmm. and then the buyer can make their decision. And we're doing this second course Yes, we might do some inspections. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to lead us to. But I know we're going to be much more knowledgeable and be able to help you guys. You know, whether it's, whether it's us making money as being inspectors or us taking that knowledge and helping y'all out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I just don't know how that's going to mold right now. But I just know sure. that I can't pass it up. And sure. I don't want to leave. <laughs> without, yeah. getting, without doing it, you know. Well, and and the school also is is doing some really interesting things in disaster relief and recovery. We are. And we're hoping and, to be a part of that if that ever. What well, God forbid that happens again. But we know Mother Nature. We know Mother Nature, and it's unfortunately will happen again. That y'all tell a little bit about that because that's something that really just happened out of the blue. I got a phone call from the Pentagon. And I answered the phone and he asked me if I was so-and-so and I said, yes. He said, do you have, are you involved with this inspection? And I said, well, yes. He said, this is so-and-so and he was an officer and I'm on loan from the Pentagon to FEMA. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, is this a prank call or what? He said, would you be willing to have a conversation? He told me the gentleman and I thought, I know that name. It's not just, I mean, this guy's on the news. I said, well, sure, what do we need to talk about? He said, we need to talk with you. We are placing travel trailers. We're finding that we're having difficulty getting mobile homes into some of the neighborhoods. And just to get the permits and to get these big units in there, it's not meeting our need fast enough. So we're gonna start bringing travel trailers in. But we need someone to look at these travel trailers and make sure that they are ready to be, our survivors to be moved into. So next thing you know, we've got a group of people going down to Florida. And this is what, in 17. Mm -hmm. Going down to Florida where the Keys, where we had that hurricane come in. Mm -hmm. The following year, we got a call about North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Took a team there. 
So what has happened is, is that things begin to open up in the market. We, did, we just had never imagined. Right. But what is the coolest thing, though, is that it's not only taking care of the units, but it's taking care of the survivors. That's right. And until you talk to one of these inspectors and they tell you a story about the relationship they developed with that survivor, and they said there's a bond there, and, and you know, people, humans, we, we gravitate to helping others. Oh, there's no doubt. And that's the story that also grabbed Stacy and I. That's why we said... We want to get level two and get some experience on on uh, doing some inspections mm -hmm. in case this happens again. And hopefully they give the Coopers give us a call and say, do you want to go along? Mm -hmm. Because, wow, Stacy and I have done some help in the past, some hurricane help in the Houston area when Katrina hit. Not Katrina, Harvey. Oh, Katrina! No, that's it was right. Katrina. Thank and you. People came from, from New, New Orleans, Orleans and came Houston. into Houston, that's right. and yeah. we we helped in that. We also helped in Harvey, obviously, because we were right in the middle of that one. Mm -hmm. But so we see an opportunity here to help others. You know, that's why we want to take level two. Really, yes. right. I mean, that's the main reason. But other things will come because of we, it. But we know. Yeah, and yeah. But the the last thing here. Okay, now, surely you're interested. I mean, I got to tell you, if you're an <laughs> RVer, you, you, at some level, you got to think you may want to learn how to work on your RV at, at minimum. So why don't you let them know how they, the, the home course, whatever. What, what are okay. the different? We actually have two websites set, set up. Our first one being the oldest one is called RV Tech Course. That's where you go uh, register for the week number one, okay, or the home study course. Now, what is a home study course? We actually, our last year on the road that we were traveling crazy, like moving every seven to ten days, we were doing class after class after class. We videoed <laughs> all those classes, and we took the best of the best, put them together, and made a home study course, and it's for that individual for, that may not be able to get to our class, or maybe finances are not where they need to be. But whatever the case is, they're able to get a home study course through a box that comes to them in the mail, or they can jump online and do it on the internet, do their own printing of the booklets that we have you know, with the class. But either way you go, you're getting the same information. You're getting this guy who is so knowledgeable, uh, you know, teaching that. now. Home study course is great, but when it comes to the hands-on labs, you're not able to participate, right? Yeah. That's just it. Not to it. the depth that you'd really like to. Yeah. Because most of we, us are hands-on learners. We sure. give you videos on how to accomplish it yourself, mm -hmm. but you know what the wonderful thing is about the home study course? Most people get those and they go, you know what? I love this and I want that experience. And that's the reason why we put a coupon, so to speak, or a voucher inside the box that actually allows that person to come within a two-year period of buying the home study oh, where years. they can take advantage of a $300 off credit toward the tuition. So yeah, it was $1644, right, for that right. class? For the first class. Mm -hmm. For that first class. So take $300 off. Take $300 off. off. So that $397 that you invested in that home study course, mm -hmm. $300 of it comes back to you on that tuition credit. And we saw at least four or five people mm -hmm. yeah. that were in the class yes. that yes. this week that did that. Yes. Right. And I asked uh, one of them, I talked pretty in depth with them, and I said, okay, you took both. Yes. And, and, now that you've taken both, do you feel like you got the value actually coming here and doing the hands-on after you had taken the mm -hmm. online or the home study? Mm -hmm. And he said, I do. Yes. He said, I do. He said, the hands-on really helped bring it home to me and yes. kind of tie everything together. He said, the, what I did at home was a good, uh, it gave me a lot of information mm -hmm. and I was able to do it at my own pace mm -hmm. and, and that was fantastic. Yes. But he said this, I felt like gave me a different level of uh, knowledge. Sure. And, yeah. and the fact that, you know, what I've been so impressed with during our time here, and we had met you guys in the past, but they built such a solid team of instructors who yeah. are so, not only so knowledgeable and skilled and trained in the topics that they're talking about, y'all, but they're also really nice 
people who want you to succeed and want you to have all of your questions answered. And so you guys have done a fantastic yeah. job. And we haven't even team. introduced you to Howard yet, which you'll, you're well, going to meet you Howard, Howard, not in this video, <laughs> but you're talking about a high energy guy. If you think I've got energy, I'm not close. To Howard. <laughs> Part of the requirement we had was is that we needed these these instructors to have field experience. You know, book knowledge is wonderful, but there's something about you write it, but in reality, if somebody will show you the shortcuts, you can get in, get out, do what you need to do. Then the technical folks that we have, all of them have their certifications. I mean, we just and some of them kind of gripe and squall about it and say, hey, I'm sorry, but you can only be an instructor if you meet this criteria. We need to know that you know your stuff. You're going to get in front of people and teach. Yeah. And they're interesting, too. I mean, they're, they all have good yeah. stories. They keep you involved. And i got to say, just real quick, we got to wrap this puppy up. I know. I, we appreciate you hanging with us in this video. But the... Um, we had a pretty big class. What do you know how many we had? Twenty-two. Twenty-two we people. Had one retake. One retake. So there were twenty-three people mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. So there was one twenty-three people in there, and we were going hard from from seven o'clock in the morning to five thirty, almost six o'clock some days, and we would take breaks, but not one person, and I kid you not, not one person fell asleep in class Ooh, the yeah. entire week. Now yeah. that's almost better. unheard of. Nobody, nobody left early. Nobody left uh, early. I mean, uh, I mean, really, that's, when you, that, that's something. Uh, that's rare. Yeah. And it's because everybody was engaged. Yes. And, well, and the other thing that we've done is, you know, like you made it said, that if you come and you take the home study, then you can come and, and you've got two years to take the live class. Not only do you get to come and take the live class, but you can come back and do what we call a do-over in the next year. So, yeah. 12 months from when you're here, you guys can come back and do this over again. Yeah, Isn't and just cool? just refresh your skills. And that's, and a, that's a no additional knowledge. cost, correct? That's exactly right. That's right. We, because it has to be that 12-month period. Okay. Well, let's just say, for instance, somebody came and they said, okay, I, I want to take this course, and they come and they spend the week with us, and they have to go away for a period of time because they're going to maybe vacation, they just couldn't be there. Well, say nine, ten months later, they have more vacation, they can come back and take this course over as a do-over, and then if they want to move forward into one of the others, it gives them that chance to get yeah. prepped, get ready, get tuned up, and going into the next That's class. That's a good way. Mm -hmm. That's really yeah. nice, yeah. I like yeah. It. You know, earlier you asked about where you could go. Yes. Remember RV Tech Course? Yes. That was the number one, our oldest site. Okay. We do have a second one. Okay. It's nrbta.com. Okay, nrvta.com, National RV Training Academy .com. Okay. That's our new one, and that's for this facility. It gives a breakdown of all the classes that we offer, along with the pricing, etc. So, and if you send an email through either one of those sites, that rolls through our email box, and we get right back to you. There's phone numbers there; they're associated with those sites as well. So, but here's the deal. I, and for you guys, I would like to ask your audience, if they're interested in participating, to please put your name that they saw this video. Okay. And so that way you guys are a referral. Okay. okay. Awesome. So as you're out and about and you're talking the good news, you are our best advertisers, right? Because you have come to class. Yeah. And I, I, this, this video is not about the referral no. at all. Be no, the it's video about the class. Is, the video is about, the, and we are, we, we had to make these videos because this class has impacted us majorly. I, I just took a, a test, a practice test of over 200 questions, and I scored over an 80. I've got to tell you that before I walked in here to take the week's class, I couldn't have scored a 15 on that. <laughs> I knew none. I see sandbagging. No, I, no, I mean. No, I, I knew none of that. Um, and so I'm, I'm just really excited. We really appreciate y'all giving us the opportunity. Oh, you're I mean, you run into people, uh, just, it wasn't by chance. I, it, it would, there was a reason why we met the Coopers. That's all I can yes. say. Yeah. And you yeah. know what? Texas. We love that. 
Yes. Yes. I mean, <laughs> just remember, all roads lead to Athens, Texas. All there roads you know. lead to Athens, Texas. And, and and this is the only place that you can get the real McCoy training anywhere around Texas and around those states. And you know what? So many people in our class. There, yes, there were quite a few from Texas, but there but were they a lot were from that all were over. local. I mean, there were a lot of full-time RVers who were traveling. Yes. There were folks from uh, Indiana. Indiana. Northern uh, California, California. Yeah. Northern California, Colorado. North, North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. We New had Hampshire. New Hampshire. We had a, a fly-in. Oklahoma. Fly-in from California. Yeah. So Florida. We, we yeah. have a lot yeah. of people coming from a lot of different places. But we places. have that happen quite a bit. And it's just amazing how many people that just, you know, they say, I have to plan this and make sure that I can make it work for my schedule. And they say, you know, what do I need to bring? Well, we give them the tool list. And most everything that they're going to need, they either have in their toolbox or they can buy. Mm -hmm. right? and, and none of it was expensive. No, no. no. I mean, because a multimeter, a volt ohm meter that you can buy down at one of the, the big box stores. Yeah. And you can go on Amazon and buy the pressure check and gas leak tester. Right. So, I mean, all this stuff is, is a small dollar amount. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. But here again, if somebody flies in, there's a place for them to stay. And that was a big thing for us, is that they needed a place to stay while they're here. Yep. There was a place to stay with your RV, or like you said, cabins or rental RVs here. Mm -hmm. We had people in our class, like you said, that are not, they, they haven't RVed before, they don't have RVs, they're new to it, this was their first experience. And they wanted to come to the class to learn about it, so that when they buy their RV, they'll yes. be more knowledgeable. That's a great point. There were folks who were new RVs. We had a, a guy in our class who had just bought his just RV, bought and this is yeah. one of the first He's times he next made. Us. He's got Isn't a small cool? class A. You know? He had it less than a month. Yeah. yeah. And then there were folks who, you know, they've had an RV. They've been RVing for a while, but maybe they're, you know, either wanting to work on their RV and have it, you know, in their hands more and be mm -hmm. able to be more DIY, or they were maybe looking, starting to look for their next RV and wanted a little more information before right. they made that purchase. And then, of course, there were the folks who decided they were here to take the professional line. So yes. there was a wide range. wide range. And people with some technical backgrounds, we had electricians in the class, so people with very technical backgrounds. And then there were folks like us who, yeah, we knew about RVing, but we had no technical background. So well, don't the, be intimidated. Yeah, and to yes. sum all this up, you're, you're going to have questions probably. There's probably yes. a lot of you out there going, woo, just like we were. Put it down in the comments yes. or send us a note. If we can't answer it, we will get them to answer it. Yes. We, will, we will find you an answer. Yes. And, and so please comment. You know, if you like this stuff, and I mean this is good stuff, give us a <laughs> thumbs up. We, um, and subscribe to the channel because we got more stuff coming. This it doesn't end today with this. And Stacy and my journey with this school does not end today. No, it does not end today. We um, came expecting to spend a week, and but now that has been extended. That has been extended, <laughs> and so don't get. Hey, you guys that are always. Why are you still in Texas? Don't be giving us a hard time about this. We are learning some good stuff. Yeah, we're we're going to be getting out of Texas pretty soon. Uh, later this summer, when it gets hot down here, we're going to go where it gets cooler. But you know what? Okay, real quick, on that, yes, it is summer. We have learned a ton this week that is going to help us with our energy management yes. when things get tight in these RV parks and campgrounds in the summer. You know, sometimes that affects how your electrical works and how much electrical you can use. We have learned a lot yeah. that is yeah. going to really help us. Yeah. You're right. You're right. So <laughs> we want to remind you guys that as time goes on, we're going to be adding new things to the program. Yeah. We are solar's coming. Woo! Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Solar's coming. We're also going to have generator class. So, and you know what? We're always moving forward and always growing, and we'll just put that information out for you guys to be able. Awesome. To talk about. Well, yeah. We so we'll and we'll be that. putting it out more, obviously, and. Um, and like I said, be looking for uh, next on a, next Winging It Wednesday. It's going to be a special thing because our, our Winging It Wednesday, we have another YouTube group that's here. Another YouTube and they're couple. work camping right here with you guys. So we're going to have them on. It'll be our first with dual us. Winging It Wednesday. Right, our first dual Winging It Wednesday. <laughs> That'll be fun. Yes. We'll be watching. Yeah. <laughs> 
So thanks for joining us, y'all. Yeah. Be sure to leave us a comment with any questions. And uh, if we can't answer it, I know somebody from the school will be happy yes. to. Yeah. And uh, as always, we appreciate y'all so much. Thanks for hanging in here with us. I know this video got probably a little long, long. But, but this is, I can't tell you how impressed we are. I mean, that is no joke, y'all. We are... We just had to share it with you guys because this has been this has been a life changing experience for us. I no think doubt. so. There's no and doubt I am, about I'm it. I'm not just saying that. I'm not exaggerating. That is the truth. So, if you like it, give us a like. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so you can see more of our content. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching, y'all. Share it with any friends that you think might be interested. Yeah. Also. Yes. And until next time. Thanks for joining us, y'all. Thank yeah. you for guys, your you guys came. This is yeah. cool. This, yeah. You know, this is what you really like is have people come and take it and experience it. Because the thing about it is knowledge builds confidence. Amen. And that is true. I yes. agree. And we'll leave it on that. Yeah. Safe travels. And happy camping. Bye, Bye y'all.